In this video, you're introduced to the Oracle Bare Metal Cloud Services. There are eight main bare metal cloud services. Compute service, networking, block volume, database service, identity and access management service, load balancing, object storage service, and audit service. This video also discusses regions, availability domains, tenancy, and compartments as used by the bare metal cloud services. And we'll take an introductory look at the bare metal cloud web console. What are the Oracle bare metal cloud services? They are a set of complementary cloud services that enable you to build and run a wide range of applications and services. We mentioned that there are eight of these cloud services, four of which are described on this slide. Use the compute service to provision and manage compute instances. Bare metal compute instances run on bare metal servers without a hypervisor. You maintain sole control of the physical CPU, memory, and network interface card. You do not share the physical machine with any other tenants. The compute service also allows you to create virtual machines, virtual machine instances for workloads that don't require dedicated physical servers or the high performance of bare metal instances. Use the networking service to create and manage the network components for your cloud resources. You can configure a virtual cloud network with access rules, gateways to support routing, public and private internet traffic. The block volume service provides high performance network storage capacity. You can use block volumes to expand the storage capacity of your compute insta instances. These provide persistent data storage that can be migrated across to other compute inst instances. The database service lets you easily build, scale, and secure Oracle database with license included pricing. You can create databases on DB systems, which are bare metal service servers with local NVMe flash storage. You can then use your existing tools in the database CLI to manage your databases in the cloud the same way you manage them on premises. The remaining four cloud services are described on this slide. Use the identity and access management service to control access to bare metal cloud services. You can create and manage compartments, users, groups, and policies that define permissions on resources. We'll discuss the use of compartments later in this video. The load balancing service allows you to create a highly available load balancer within your virtual cloud network so you can distribute internet traffic to your compute inst instances. The object storage service provides high throughput storage for unstructured data. Object storage enables near infinite storage capacity for large amounts of analytic data or rich content like images and videos. You can also back up your block volume storage devices to the object storage service. And finally, the audit service provides visibility into activities related to your bare metal cloud resources. Audit log events can be used for security audits to track usage of and changes to bare metal cloud resources and to help ensure compliance with standards or regulations. We'll now take a look at the web console for the bare metal cloud services. This is the home page. The console is a web-based user interface that you use to access and manage bare metal cloud services. The cloud services are offered through the drop-down menus on the top right corner. The identity option provides access to the identity and access management service. The compute option provides access to the compute service. The database options provides access to the database service. The networking option provides access to the network networking service and the load balancing service. The storage option provides access to the block volume service and the object storage service. And the audit option provides access to the audit service. We will configure compute in networking and storage services in other videos. We're also going to notice other terms on the console such as tenancy and region in compartments, if I click compute instances, you'll see the compartments down here. There's another term that we'll discuss. It's called availability domains. We'll describe these terms and concepts and then come back to the web console and have a further look at these. First, we'll take a look at regions and availability domains. Oracle Bare Metal Cloud services are physically hosted in regions and availability domains. A region is a localized geographic area, and availability domain is one or more data centers located within a region. As you can see from the image on the slide, a region is composed of several availability domains. Availability domains are isolated from each other, they're fault tolerant, and very unlikely to fail simultaneously, 
or are to be impacted by the failure of another availability domain. When you configure your cloud services, you can use multiple availability domains to ensure high availability and, and to protect against resource failure. Bare metal resources are either region specific, such as a virtual cloud network, or availability domain specific, such as a compute instance. We'll look at these using the web console. So we'll go back to the bare metal cloud console. If I click under regions, manage regions, notice that I'm subscribed to two different regions. I can select which region from the region drop down menu. And notice that I have no instances in the Ashburn region. However, I do have an instance in the Phoenix region. To see the use of availability domains, I'm going to click Launch Instance. We'll launch an instance in another video, but for now I just want to show how availability domains are used. Note that I do need to select an availability domain for the instance, and there are three of these for this particular region. So you can see that compute instances are availability domain specific. If I click Networking, and then Virtual Cloud Networks, note there is no place to select an availability domain. So a virtual cloud network is region specific. For each virtual cloud network, you can create subnets, which are availability domain specific. So if I click the uh, virtual cloud network name, I click create subnet. Note that I do need to select an availability domain for the subnet. So some cloud resources are region specific and some cloud resources are availability domain specific. I'm going to go back to the web console and describe a couple other terms, tenancy and compartments. Then we'll come back to the web console and look at, look at these further. A tenancy is a secure and isolated partition within the bare metal cloud services where you can create, organize, and administer your cloud resources. When you sign up for an Oracle bare metal cloud services, Oracle creates a tenancy for your company. A tenancy can be subscribed to multiple regions as it is in the case for my account. Compartments allow you to organize and control access to your cloud resources. So a compartment is a collection of related resources, such as instances or virtual cloud networks or block volumes, that can be accessed only by certain groups that have been given permission by an administrator. Your tenancy is the root compartment that holds all your cloud resources. You can then create additional compartments within the tenancy and corresponding policies to control access to the resources in each compartment. And when you create a cloud resource, such as an instant or a block volume or a cloud network, you must specify to which compartment you want the resource to belong. The idea here is that the correct use of, of compartments ensures that each user has access to only the resources that they need. We'll go back to the bare metal cloud console. Notice our tenancy is called Corrente001. I didn't show this, but you have the option to select a tenancy when you first log into the web console. Note that the tenancy is also the root compartment. Also notice that a other, couple other compartments have been created. You can create compartments as part of the identity and access management service. Every time you create a cloud resource, you specify which compartment you want the resource to belong. In this example, the Corinthe 001 root compartment is currently selected. But if I launch an instance, I have the option to select a different compartment for this instance. If I create a virtual cloud network, I have the option to select a different compartment for that VCN. If I create a subnet, I have the option to select a different compartment. You get the idea. If I create a block volume, I have the option to select a different compartment. So all resources are assigned to a specific compartment. You'll also note for block volumes, I have the option to select an availability domain. So compartments allow you to organize and control access to your resources. To summarize, in this video, we discussed the eight main bare metal cloud services. We looked at the cloud service console and saw where these services are offered through the drop-down menus on the top right corner of the console. We also described regions, availability domains, tenancy, and compartments. We saw how these terms are used in configuring bare metal cloud services from the web console. 
This concludes this video. In the next video, we'll configure virtual cloud networks and subnets in preparation for launching Oracle Bare Metal Cloud instances.